Hello everyone. Today I would tell you about estimation of serum sodium potassium ion by colorimetric method. Now clinical significance of sodium ion. It is the major cation of extracellular fluid. It plays a central role in maintenance of normal distribution of water and osmotic pressure in various fluids compartments. Then potassium ion is the intracellular fluid and it, it also uh, plays an important role to maintain the osmotic pressure and, uh, and uh, normal distribution of water inside the cell and it is also uh, influence the muscle activity. Now to start with the experiment, uh, first we have to uh, precipitate the sodium ion in the form of triplet salt. So we would use the precipitating air reagent to precipitate the triple salt which consists of sodium magnesium uranyl acetate. So after precipitation, we would uh, after adding the precipitation uh, reagent of 1 ml, we would centrifuge at 3000 rpm for 2 minutes and then the supernatant would be collected for the test. Now you can, uh, you can see we have added, uh, there is a cloudy appearance, we would centrifuge and then we would use it for estimation of sodium ion. Now for sodium ion, there are three reagents. One is the uh, precipitating reagent. Then we have a standard and the third one is the color reagent. So we got the uh, supernatant, you can see. And now we would take the supernatant. Now the standard, standard was also precipitated. Now from standard, we would take 60 microliter for 3 ml. And for 1 ml, it would be 20 microliter. Similarly, in sample, we would take 60 microliter for 3 ml. If it is 1 ml, 20 microliter. And in the blank test tube, we would add uh, 60 microliter of water. And then we would add the color reagent of the sodium uh, detection of 3, 3 ml into each test tube and see the color change. So the color change would be red at 530 nanometer within 10 minutes. So uh, if we use colorimeter, we have to use green filter. So we have added the reagent after some time it would develop the color. So that color would be red in the colorimeter. There would be a pink color formation and this pink color formation would be red at 530 nanometer. Now the principle of this sodium ion and, uh, detection is the uranyl ions uh, uh, and magnesium ion react with the sodium, uh, sodium ion and get precipitated. Then the free uranyl ion reacts with uh, potassium ferricyanide and give, uh, give a brown colored complex. You can see there is a brown colored complex. This would be red against the blank at 530 nanometer in spectrophotometer and in green filter uh, in colorimeter. After taking the reading of the uh, standard and sample, we would put into the formula uh, where uh, the sample reading is divided by standard reading and multiplied by the concentration of the standard. Concentration of the standard uh, is 2.1 millimole. So this would be uh, used for calculating the uh, sodium ion. Now you can see we have got the reading. We would measure it. So we got 0.37 for the standard. Now we would take the reading for the sample. After cleaning the cuvette because since it is a clinical sample we are using serum so we need to rinse it. Now then we would take the sample and 
we would record the reading so sample reading would be recorded now the standard was 0.36 sample reading is 0.41 so we would put this value into the formula and get the calculation so next we would do the uh, test for uh, uh, the detection of potassium ion so in potassium ion we would take the the uh, 50 microliter of the sample into each test uh, test tube standard and uh, test and in place uh, in blank we would take uh, the uh, water distilled water so and then we would add the potassium reagent of uh, if it is uh, 50 microliter then 1 ml and for uh, uh, 3 ml it has to be 150 microliter and see the color change so it, the, in the principle of uh, potassium ion detection is it uh, it forms a colloidal suspension so uh, because uh, because tetraphenyl boron reacts with the potassium ion and it forms a white turbidity so we measure the white turbidity uh, in uh, potassium ion detection at 620 nanometer after incubation of 5 minutes and again we would put into the formula and get the reading so the concentration of potassium ion standard potassium ion is 8 millimole per liter so we would record the reading now the normal range of sodium ion in the, uh, in the serum is 135 to 155 millimole per liter and for potassium ion it is 3.4 to 5.3 millimole per liter so we would put all this in the formula and get the reading and also we would find out the normal ranges uh, of sodium and potassium ion in the sample so this is how we do the uh, clinical test of sodium and potassium ion in the uh, uh, serum so we got the reading for standard uh, potassium ion is 0 0.04 then we would take the reading of the uh, unknown uh, sorry uh, 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 serum sample and uh, the serum samples gives the reading at uh, of point uh, 0 0.01 uh, we would see the 0 0.01 reading so we can see it is 0 0.01 so the 0 0.01 is divided by 0 0.04 and multiplied by the concentration of the uh, potassium ion that is uh, standard product 8 millimole per liter. So that is how we calculate the uh, both sodium and potassium ion by colorimetric method. So uh, I hope uh, everyone would try this experiment and learn the clinical biochemistry. Thank you.